This is 2OF Entertainment. So this is the award-winning Kia EV9. It's one I have picked up a couple of awards lately. Big SUV. It's the largest one that you get from Kia. Um, I can tell you a little bit. I'm at, I'm at the SMMT driving day. Um, we have very little time with the car, so I'll put all the specs and everything on the screen. But this blue one here, this is the EV9 GT Line S. On the road price, £77,000. Did you ever imagine you'd be paying £77,000 for a Kia? Um, and it has uh, 378 horsepower, 700 newton meters of torque. It'll do 0 to 62 miles per hour in 5.3 seconds. Driving range, it's uh, 303 miles. So let's have a quick look around the car. We'll look at the practicality uh, and then we'll... I love the blue on this car. It's sort of a matte finish blue that we have, but it's got a very, very distinctive front end that now you're actually seeing this replicated, this sort of headlight design replicated. If you can see right there at the back, um, that's the updated facelifted Kia Picanto. And you can see the resemblance is trying to, that's, I don't know if it's going to become a Kia thing, but Kia tend to do quite different things They're like as their sister company Hyundai does as well with each of their models. You can see quite a blocky uh, tire pattern there, wheel pattern, I should say, sorry. And you've got these side skirts on here, uh, just sort of cladding really. That it's really expensive. The nice little contour there gives it a little bit of character. A lot of glass area, very, very big. It feels like a big vehicle, looks like a big vehicle. I guess this is where you charge it from. Okay, oh yeah, here we go. So that's the uh, charging thing. And it feels like, oh, okay, there you go. Oh, it's automated. Check that out. And then here at the back is the, how do we open this? Here we go. Hopefully that is electric as well. And there you go. So this is actually, uh, well, this particular one is a six-seater. I'm guessing that you could probably get a rear bench as well. You've got two individual rear seats and then these rear seats as well. So with the space up, this is how much room you got. And then you've got under here, you've got a bit of space as well. There you go. You can have a look. So just a tire repair kit and stuff like that. From here, you can actually operate. Uh, if I show you there, you can actually operate the seats and then you've got power supply as well there you go and uh power supply on this side as well but all pretty good right let's see what the rear room is like oh sorry to interrupt are you enjoying the video well make sure you've punched the like button it helps so here we go look at this i mean look at this that is pretty massive so i mean no question of you know, whether or not there's going to be enough space for me in here. Of course, there's going to be tons of room. Um, and in fact, you can see that. I mean, I'm sitting in like a luxury lounge, really. There's like, there's more MPV levels of space here. This is actually quite massive. There must be a way of reclining. There you go. That feels a bit more comfortable. Um, of course, lots and lots of room. There's lots of foot room as well. Look at that. As well as, um, for example, knee room. Um, what do we have here? Look at this. Wow. A big old cubby box there, tray there, cup holders, that actually comes out a bit further. Then the whole thing closes like that. We've got these armchairs here. There is a seats in the back. I could try to get into them actually. Actually, there's enough space for me to maneuver. So I don't know if you can see me on that one, but uh, let me see if I can turn this around. So there you go. <laughs> so I don't, I don't think I could, um, there you go, try and figure this out. So they, I don't think I could ride in here for too long. Maybe if I had to like this just temporarily. But what's it like back here? Not bad because you've got your own cup holders and power. You've got USB-C and you've got buttons there and stuff like that. So um, yeah, on both sides. So not, not bad at all. Now if I can squeeze back out of here. I think it's, this is one of those cars that actually you need to spend a lot of time with, which I don't really have today. So let's get in the front. Let's see what that's like and let's take it for a drive. Look at this. Wow, what is that? It's like a reclining front seat. A bit of extra support there for the, what, how does that work? Do I have seat controls there? 
Yeah, look at that. I mean, I don't know if you can see that on there, but what, what even... So if I do that, see that actually comes out. So that is actually giving you a bit more. I'm not sure if I'm okay with that because it doesn't come up far enough. I suppose you could do that. Wow, I mean, this is designed for like autonomous driving maybe. Nice seat design. That's pretty funky. And then that's quite nice in front here. How do you start this up? There's always a question mark now on these cars. It's like, how do you actually start them? Oh, EV. There's a little button down here. Wow. You can see that. There's an EV there. And that's where the, the gear lever is. And that's all come on now. Cup holders. Really unique cup holder here. What's this all about? All oh, right, I see. So they go in. Uh, hang on. You can't actually see that. There you go. So they go in. There you go. And then you push that. Comes out. And you've got charging there box there and of course you've got the huge uh, compartment down there you've got you're charging all over the place glove box massive look at that there's buttons here how cool is that mode oh that's just for the temperature thing so okay let's just take it for a drive Check this out guys, it's my book, it's my first novel and it's written for car fans like you. It's a fun political action thriller, it's full of cool cars and spectacular action. Get your copy now at Amazon.com Okay, so... Oh, okay, so you turn, the, you turn the knob, there's a kind of knob at the end of the stalk, you turn that. I'm in reverse now, so I've got full 360 camera, I know that now. So you actually turn it the other way and then off we go, yeah, there we are, we're moving. So let's take this out. This is a big old beast, this is. And uh, hand on the top there, again, uh, this the, uh, you can feel, as soon as you know you're in a big car, you sort of adopt the uh, big car driving position. <laughs> so off we go, let's see what it's like. Then what is it showing, I don't know why. Okay, so it's got, oh, that's a speed alert thing. How does it even know? Oh, it's got probably, um, traffic sign recognition that's why 69 percent 173 miles big machine and straight away you can feel it you can feel the bulk moving around um right a little bit of bump thump a little bit of transmission but generally rather well composed um there is some rigidity in the platform as there always is with evs to be expected steering is very light for a big vehicle very light indeed and you know, you've got that sort of movement that you get with a really big vehicle where this sort of kind of feels like it's floating a little bit um, on, its, on its platform. So, so the indicators are on the correct side and you get a little, little uh, display there on the uh, instrument panel when you indicate. So left and you get there and then I wonder if you get it the other side. Yeah, you do. So you get a little um, uh, monitor comes up here, a little camera must be here and then it shows you what's on each side. This is something that actually Honda introduced way, way years ago in the Accord. Um, so obviously now has been ad adopted by other companies as well. So let's see how it performs on these uh, rumble strips, which are not always, oh, it just glides over them. That's interesting. So although, oh, okay, so there's a little bit of movement now that the roads got a bit rougher, but generally, with a lot of cars, that is quite an arduous process to go over those rumble strips. Um, but in this car, I just sort of glided over the top of them uh, with a little bit of transmission, a little bit of shimmying. That's all you got from it. I like the steering wheel. It's almost like a, a rectangle steering wheel, this thing. Um, you know, it's a four spoke, all the sort of controls on it. Oh, you've got drive mode. Let's see what drive modes I've got. Sport, okay, now we're in sport. Oh, and we got immediately got a slightly better response from the, uh, the throttle there. So, oh yes, lift off, we've got regen braking happening, that's for sure. Actually quite a substantial amount of braking, so even for this quite tight airpin, a little bit of understeer, hold on, well, actually no, actually the understeer was well, the understeer was well controlled there, it wasn't too bad at all. And actually the, the grip is very good, so the body control was very good, it held the corner quite tightly and um, didn't seem to want to go out of uh, shape or anything like that. Even the mass was handled quite well. What is that? That's just a key moving around in there. Of 
or a slower car in front of me. So where rear window is um, could be a bit bigger. Go around the hairpin, a little bit of understeer, grips well, and off it goes. Yeah, not too bad at all, actually. So, decent performance. And actually, now we're getting going a little bit, and uh, on the brakes a little bit, just to settle it. Now you've got body movement, you've got quite a lot. When you really start to hammer it and throw it around, then you do start to get body. And oh, yeah, you need the brakes to really hold this thing to a stop, that's for sure. Um, but the brakes are good and they're not, not too bitey, they're quite gradual, quite linear, they seem to work quite well. So overall then, you know, not a bad, bad thing to drive, although it's a big thing, it's a bus, you know, it's, it's massive, it's meant to be massive, that's the whole point of it, it's a big family vehicle, um, but you know, that's, that's what you're getting from Kia. And the quality and everything is really nice. So that's the whole point of the thing. There's nice touches in here as well. I like the, the design on the top of the dashboard here. It's quite nice. So we're just cruising now <laughs> for some reason. But uh, all feels good. All feels nice. There you go. There's my quick uh, drive review of the Kia EV9. Let me know what you think in the comments below.